just walked in here and make this entire place smell good. And I was like, oh, first of all, <laughs> Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shay Yee, and this is The Daily Shade. On this channel, my goal is to help you look good and feel seen. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in and being a real one. So we're just about to get into it. My favorite fragrances slash the fragrances that I am most complimented on. Now, these are fragrances that I've had in my collection for a bit of time now, so I can really speak to like their complimentary compliments that I get on them. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number one on the docket, Miss Fenty Parfum. When she first launched it, I was like intrigued. You know, I was just like, I'm getting it. I didn't even hesitate. I didn't even think about what the notes were. I literally just pressed order because I knew it was gonna sell out immediately. And I'm glad I did because it did sell out immediately. Every time I wear it, I literally always get like, oh, what are you wearing? I feel like a lot of people have this set. So I'm always kind of surprised because I'm like, oh, I think I thought this would be kind of like universal. Like people would just know, but I'm always happy to say like, it's Fenty girl. So the scent notes for this Fenty perfume, it's a warm floral, it has magnolia, musk, tangerine, and Bulgarian rose. And I genuinely do believe that it's the rose that I love the most. Realize I am definitely like in a floral category when it comes to perfumes that I personally really gravitate towards. Musk floral, fruity floral, or even like a vanilla floral. The Bulgarian rose in this really is the winner here. I just feel like I'm wrapped up in this like warm floral sensual bubble. It just feels really womanly. I know it's a unisex perfume. I'm gonna put that in quotes because I do have a unisex like perfume here. I'm gonna say this is definitely more womanly to me personally. I think the rose definitely comes through when it dries down, but also kind of like a soft sort of cottony scent comes through as well when it dries down, which I don't mind because I usually like to either wear this alone or I'll pair it with like another kind of stronger floral scent to kind of really um, highlight the rose in this. I still have a lot to go. Like I always wonder like, what do people do when they finish their perfumes? They just throw it away. I have yet to finish a perfume bottle. So I don't know. I'm like, y'all just throw away y'all perfume bottles? Cause I can't just throw this away. Like this is too cute. Anyway, that's perfume number one. Next we have Toka and this is in the scent Stella. And this is another one of my favorites, like favorite favorites, because as you can see, I'm basically almost finished. Once I finish it, I will be re-upping, but I'm waiting till I finish it fully. One of my favorites. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this transports me to 2021. Cause I think I bought this in 2021 or early 2022, but I think it was 2021. And the reason why this is one of my favorites is because it transports me to a time where I felt like I was finally sort of living my like adult life. I mean, it was only like three years ago, but I had moved into my apartment on my own. Things were going very well, just in general. It just felt like everything was aligned for me at that moment. Smelling this actually is kind of making me a little emotional. It's been an interesting year for me. So I think that's why it's making me emotional. Anyway, let's get into the scent notes. The top is bitter orange, blood orange, watery accord. The middle is white freesia, wild diamond orchard, spicy lily, and the bottom is sheer musk sandalwood. I definitely get the orange. I feel like it's not like a overpowering orange. And I think because it mixes well with all the other scent notes, it's also warm to me. This feels like a warm floral. This is what I would consider an inviting scent. And you could take that as however you want to interpret that. It's kind of like a, a Ted Turner, like, oh, What's that? It gives me summer. I actually find myself wearing this more in the spring, summertime. She's probably gonna be wrapped up by the end of this summer. It feels like I'm kind of like on the beach sort of, but not like beach sand, more like beach cabana, <laughs> maybe on a boat. That is number two. The third on this list is Prada Paradox or Paradoxy. I think it's Paradox. Yeah, Paradox. This scent actually surprised me. I wasn't expecting to actually like it as much as I do, but as you can kind of see, it is like halfway done. Number one, just the bottle alone, I'm not gonna lie, is like a big reason why I like this perfume. It's just a really cute bottle. But besides that, oh my God. <laughs> This just smells so good. This is reminding me, wow, it's so crazy how scents can transport you back to a point in time. This is reminding me of Christmas 2020 too. Yeah, I must've been wearing this a lot during that time because it's reminding me of Christmas and I love Christmas. Christmas is literally my favorite holiday. So let's get into the scent notes, okay? The top notes are Calabrian Bergamot Heart, Tangerine Essence, and Paracord. Heart notes, Neroli Essence, Tunisian Orange Flower, Heart, Absolute Blossom. Wow, these are some long, long words. Jasmine Sambach Absolute. And the base notes are Amber Accord, 
benzoin, Madagascar premium bourbon vanilla, and white musk accord. So again, we have the fruity floor with the vanilla. I would say initially I get more of like the tangerine and the neroli. And then when it dries down, I get more of the vanilla. This one in particular gets me a lot of compliments, but it's not just this on its own. When I combine this with this, this is the vanilla bourbon from Mix Bar and it is a Target brand. And as you can see, she's almost done. She gets worn frequently. This is what I would consider like almost like an everyday scent for me. But before I really get into this, these two mix together every single time I decide to wear these two together, compliments across the board. What I really think it is, is that the vanilla bourbon in this really hypes up the vanilla bourbon in this one. It just marries well. And I was doing a fitting and literally like towards the end of the fitting, one of the store associates, literally he was like, you just walked in here and made this entire place smell good. And I was like, oh, first of all, and I'm like, the entire store smells amazing because I walked in here, say less. You know, somebody gives you a compliment on something, all of a sudden you're like, well, now I gotta keep wearing it and wearing it and wearing it and wearing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. A match made in scent heaven. Prada Paradox on its own, it's a stunning scent, but I also do love layering. I think this is a really good layering scent. And I'm sure you probably heard this, but if you would like to sort of just remix your scents or kind of get something else out of the scents you currently have, do not be afraid to mix and layer. You definitely get like more of a customized scent and something that you can kind of call your own signature. Just a little tidbit, because I know people like their scents and I know people like to smell unique and they usually don't want anybody else to smell that way. So I get it. Let's get into this one on its own. This is giving me cozy, warm, obviously with the vanilla, grown, but not overpowering grown. I just stepped into my fullness grown. I don't know, does that make sense? Am I making sense with these? Hopefully I'm making a little bit of sense, hopefully. This has notes of bergamot, jasmine, apple blossom, Madagascar vanilla bean, and sandalwood. I don't really get the apple in this, I'm gonna be honest. Maybe because I've had it for a while, but I'm not really getting the apple. I'm fully getting that Madagascar vanilla and the sandalwood. That's what it is, it's the sandalwood. Sandalwood is just a really kind of like grown woman scent to me. The jasmine, <laughs> about jasmine but i also wear this kind of like every day no layering just like a running errands and i just want to smell like decent which is why it's almost gone because it's just one of my quick grab and goes this is number four next we have this one this is the guerlain bloom of rose and i actually picked this up at disneyland random but disneyland has a guerlain store we were like oh just browsing again this was the year that i was doing a whole lot of shopping and so i was like yeah i'm browsing but also this scent smells good Bloom of Rose, truly what it what it sounds like. It is a rosy floral scent. The one with the pink kind of metallic band, cause there's another one that has like a gold metallic band and I think it has like a slightly different scent. Lavender vanilla pairing with the bouquet of roses and a pear note. This is probably the most fruity out of all of these. Mm -hmm. It's the most fruity out of all of these and that pear definitely comes through. With the pear, it smells so good. This is actually pretty strong. It's a pretty like, in your face scent. This is a very lasting scent. If I spray this on my clothes, like it's on my clothes for the foreseeable future. The rose is I think the first thing I'm smelling right after hit with the pear. Because this has rose in it, I feel like it plays really well with Fenty. I recently just did this pairing, but it also plays really well with the Prada. The vanilla in that one complements the pear in this one. Every time I wear it, I'm like, to me, this is like very feminine fragrance. Like this is womanhood personified, but it's still sweet. It's still like fun, but it feels mature in a way that's not like Elizabeth Arden mature. No shade to Elizabeth Arden fragrances, like not white diamonds mature. I keep smelling all these and now I'm looking getting a headache, but this smells delicious. I haven't really used much. I'm like that much done. It's, that's not that much really in terms of scents because a little goes a long way with this one. You spray five spritz and look, you're gonna be smelled from a mile away. Might as well stick with the Guerlain family. Next we have Guerlain Santo Royale. So I actually smelled this the same day I smelled the Bloom of Rose and I did not get it at the store because I was like, oh no, I don't wanna spend all that money. I still ended up buying it because I could not stop thinking about it. I had layered this one and the Bloom of Rose together and it was stuck on me when I came home that night and I was like, oh my God, this smells so good. I ended up buying it that night or like the next night. I realized this bottle is actually kind of clear. This whole time I thought this bottle was like fully black, but like it's a little translucent. Anyway, first of all, this bottle, stunning, stunning. Yes. Now this, not fruity, not floral. This to me is a unisex scent. Ooh. 
I almost forgot what this smells like. This to me leans actually a bit more masculine. It has leather notes. I think it's leather and sandalwood. I will say hands down is a very sexy scent, okay? Like if my future man was wearing this, yeah, I'll be like, exactly. Keep wearing that, keep wearing it. But even as a woman, like I feel like it just adds that little level of like oomph. A little goes a long way. This is why I've barely, I've barely scratched the surface of this. Like I've used like damage. These pair together smell amazing because this is so feminine, so womanly. And they just add a little hint of this kind of like more masculine note. It combines so well. Jasmine, Neroli, oh, Rose. Oh, cinnamon and leather. I get the neroli, I get the cinnamon, and I get the leather. The jasmine and rose, maybe when it dries down, the addition of like those sort of like slight floral elements with the rose and the jasmine and the neroli. I can see why this is more unisex. I use this so sparingly because I'm like, you're staying with me forever. Forever. Okay, maybe not forever. But when I do wear this scent, I also get compliments. Cause people are like, what is that? I feel like it's such a unique scent. Nine times out of 10, it's like, this is slightly layered on top. Like I'm like, it's this, Plus this with the slight layering, maybe one or two spritz, one here and then one here. It stops people in its tracks. You walk past somebody and it's like, you, they gonna turn their head. Cause I be turning my head. Cause I'm like, that smell good. Oh my God. I will say this was a pretty penny. I think this was like 250, which is exactly why I'm using it so sparingly. I'm getting my money's worth because look, I'm about to have this for the next five years. <laughs> and the final scent we have is the Lancome Idol Now. And this was a slight surprise, but maybe not so slight surprise because my line sister actually reminded me that I was in love with the original of this scent, the Lancome Idol. We were in a wedding together and we had to go to the mall to do some last minute stuff. And so we ended up at like one of the perfume counters. She was spraying this all over herself. And I was like, what are you doing girl? Like you spraying this on your hair? She was like, yeah, it makes it last longer. Like it lingers. And I was like, oh my God. But I remember getting to the car with her and I was like, girl, you smell delicious. What the heck? Like she smells so good. And I remember thinking at the time I told her, I was like, I'm gonna get that scent, you know, eventually. Totally forgot that I said that. Then I was gifted this and then the eye doll sent to like the smaller version. Oh my God, this one smells so good. This particular scent gives me summer. If you're like at a resort doing like a beachside dinner, also want to be really fun and playful. The scent notes are uplifted rose, musky orchid accord, and then augmented vanilla which is basically Madagascar vanilla bourbon. This is on this list outside the fact that I just love this scent so much. But I went somewhere and this lady was like, oh my God, what are you wearing? And I was like, oh, she was like, you smell amazing. I like to be the person that's like, okay, yeah girl, let me tell you what I'm wearing. I was like, oh, it's this perfume. I was like, Lancome my doll. And she was like, wait, hold on. I want to write it down because I'm literally going to go buy it. And I was like, as you should. It has such a strong, powerful scent, but it's not strong overpowering. It like, it layers beautifully with your skin's pH. I'm really getting the rose in this and the vanilla, I think adds that kind of like necessary musky base layer to kind of make this like smell really creamy, a little more sensual. It has the girls in the tizzy and it's number seven on this list of my most complimented and my favorites. And that wraps up this video. Wow, smelling all that just put me in the best mood. I feel like my voice has gotten higher as this video has progressed because those all smell so delicious. They're the ones that I find myself gravitating towards the most often. Like I still wear my other ones, but these are the ones that I find myself willing to spray a little more than normal. I appreciate y'all so much for watching today's video. If you like what you saw, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That would mean so much to me. It would also let me know that you guys do like this content and you like what you're looking at. If you are liking the vibe of this channel, if you're liking the vibe of my videos and you're like, you know what? I think I want to see more, then please feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you and welcome you into this family, this growing family. Obviously just having people here to support means the world to me. And as always, I will catch y'all in my next one. Until next time, bye.